I may be a little bit late on this, but uh, we all know the story behind this, and I'll let you guys in on it if you have not heard this. Dean Ambrose is getting major heat, major heat from backstage officials. What happened this time? You know, Dean Ambrose, who um, is the Intercontinental Champion on Raw, he was getting heat when he was a WWE Champion. He was getting heat after the Steve Austin podcast. He was getting heat for everything. And it truly just seems in his voice that he he is not obviously, you know, being able to do what he wants. He's being scripted for every little thing he does. Everything. And even though, you know, they say he's a lunatic and stuff, he, he he's not really a lunatic. He doesn't act like a lunatic. He's not getting booked like a lunatic. And he, he seems very scripted, but he also seems like he doesn't want to be there. I don't know how else to put it because he he does he just doesn't seem like he wants to be in the position he's in and maybe that's not necessarily the character he's he's with but m- more so how he presents it he doesn't want people writing things for him um, and now he's getting heat for a lot of things he's been doing I don't know exactly what the heat is on this time but let's get right into it and talk about it so the superstar shakeup which has left Ambrose and Raw uh, you know also shuffled around many other superstars and now. All three members of the Shield have been reunited and sit in the same locker room. Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins all stayed put uh, with their old teammate, got uh, put onto the red brand. And uh, in early returns, this is looking like a good move by the creative team. Another big star from the blue brand made the jump with Ambrose, which is, uh, or who is, Miz. And obviously Maurice with uh, him. Now... The uh, the unspoken or outspoken performer uh, used to talk, uh, used his talk show Miss TV as a platform to voice his displeasure with the lunatic fringe's approach to the ring lately. So Mrs. Promo did wonders as the crowd reacted to the accusations or accusations. Sorry, my bad. Accusations attentively. In some sense, there might have been some thoughts among WWE officials that he truly belonged back in the flagship program. Now, once his star, although had risen to the heights it is now, that is when they'd, you know, say that he, he, uh, he'll be able to go with the red brand. Now, his tirade during this segment hit a number of sore spots for the Intercontinental Champion, namely that he lost his momentum after being selected first overall in last year's brand uh, and losing his WWE Championship on the way to where he is now. So he lost a lot of momentum at, from that point. Now... The awesome one is also chirped that even with all the support that Ambrose received from the company, he still hasn't been able to accomplish much of anything. Those are cutting words as well, seeing as how Ambrose has, was bumped down uh, to the WrestleMania 33 pre-show. Dave Meltzer said that, that when the, some statements make it into a promo, it is because somebody higher up feels that there is truth in these words. He would continue to say that these arguments are complacency are coming straight from WWE's management. Now, for now, the company will have to hope that the Lunatic's fringe current feud with The Miz can re-spark some of the fire in him that was seen after he left The Shield. Both of his former teammates are huge attractions and played large roles in uh, WrestleMania this year. Now, with a little hard work, maybe there is hope for Ambrose to rejoin them as one of the huge attractions on Raw. So... And that's that. So again, uh, I guess Dean Ambrose, the heat that he may be getting is, you know, the truth being spat into his face. And, um, you know, the idea of Ambrose, again, there are these certain types of guys that WWE dislikes. They just dislike these certain types of guys. And they, 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 they show it to you. They may not say it directly to you, but they're going to freaking show it in your face. And they're going to continue to, you know, reiterate that. And so now Ambrose, who's gotten so much heat over the over the past few months, even years, uh, is now getting heat over some of the things that wasn't even, you know, deliberately done by him. It's just w- what his status is right now. And it's like WWE is like, remember, you know, you, you were at the WrestleMania pre-show. You are nowhere. You're going nowhere at this point, right? And we're going to shove that in your face. I mean... That's a uh, a dick move, really. 
So Ambrose getting heat again. I've said this so many times. It's nothing new. It's just that the story is continued to get updated and you know continue to get a uh, you know new elements added to it. And this time now we're getting in the form of Miz telling Ambrose what backstage management thinks about Ambrose. Um, and Mel Meltzer must be correct. Dave Meltzer. I mean, it makes sense that you know whoever writes your scripts, a lot of t a lot of the times. Uh, you know, people will be like, you know, talent will be like, they don't really understand who the superstar is. You can't be writing scripts for talent because you, you're you not the character. You can't play the character. But when management, I mean, man, <laughs> to take this in, management is like a character. The people who work backstage are characters. They have feelings upon some things and they're going to tell other talents to go out there and say this. And that's how they feel. So really, it's it's sort of like it's sort of like um, JBL being the uh, the 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 puppet of WWE, right? Whatever Vince wants him to say, JBL will say. It's like this, you know, same thing. Management will have Miz say what they want him to say, or you know, touch on these bullet points when he's talking to Dean Ambrose out in the ring, and make sure that it comes off, you know, emph it's an emphatic statement, and that's what the point was. So Ambrose, don't be surprised if he's getting heat because he, he gets heat from a lot of people and apparently it's not going to come to an end. I mean, his WWE Championship reign was not a good it was not a good run. He certainly I can tell you right now with the stuff that he's given, the, the, you know, the, the the shit that he's been given by backstage officials, he's trying to do what he can. He's not he's a PG lunatic at the best at this point. He is not a all-out freak. He's a guy who is trying to crawl out of his shell, but no, but you know the the big angry crab or lobster or whatever that is WWE is going to, you know, circle this guy until uh, he one day leaves or you know s scares himself to death and leaves. Um, because I could truly see Ambrose being one of those guys that leaves the WWE. Just like Punk did, right? It does seem like Vince doesn't have anything planned for the guy. Ambrose has been in mid card after mid card after mid card. Got one slight chance at a main event last year, and he blew it. And it wasn't all his fault, right? I mean, uh, the way WWE booked him, it wasn't. It, it didn't seem like he was even a WWE, you know, a champion. The only time he felt like, you know, that that this feud was going anywhere with, you know, Ambrose being champion, you know, against facing, uh, you know, Dolph Ziggler. Remember that at the SummerSlam, which was not really a good match that people remember. You know, when he cashed the money in the bank, that was a memorable moment after that. I, you know, there wasn't much to, to it. I remember the SummerSlam match for not being as great, right? Um, then he lost to AJ Styles, and that was the end of that. So AJ Styles, you know, who, since the brand split... Since Brock Lesnar, I believe, because I don't know, or even Seth Rollins, I would say since Brock Lesnar, he he is the one since, you know, Brock Lesnar again, who has made the title seem legitimate. When Styles came outside, came out to the ring, I felt the presence of the WWE champion, not just some ordinary guy. That's AJ Styles. He had his own... You know, feeling to him when he came out as champion. I mean, I don't, you know, like, I don't even have to, you know, think if he's champion at this point or not. I know he's not champion. When he walks out there, it feels like he's still champion. When AJ Styles comes up to the ring, I forget everything and I, I focus on him and I try to think about, well, you know, AJ Styles is obviously not WWE champion. Who is it? I forget it because that's how good Styles is, was as champion and, you know, still is. If he's WWE champion at this point, you know, it wouldn't make a difference because he's great right now. He'll be great with the championship. He's been great with the championship, right? That's, you know, a WWE champion. Ambrose, unfortunately, is not given that opportunity. I mean, seriously, when you see AJ Styles, you think of a champion. You think that this guy should be champion. And even though he's not champion, he still performs like a champion. So you forget everything about, you know, him being this or him being in mid card or whatnot. He's, he feels like the main event every time. Every time. And that is why he is my favorite, favorite modern, modern day wrestler right now. No doubt. 
AJ Styles is my favorite wrestler right now. Now, as for Ambrose getting this heat, it's uh, it's I don't know what else to call it. pathetic. Is it upsetting? It's is it's 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 pissing me off that he's he gets heat for everything. I mean, he got heat for the well, I don't know, I don't remember, but if he got heat for the Lesnar match, but obviously he did say that Lesnar was pretty lazy uh, in the uh, match. You know, it's pretty quite coincidental. Coincidental, and uh, you know, he his Stone Cold podcast with Stone Cold was not uh, amazing as well. It does seem like. It's him who is having these repercussions, or not repercussions, restrictions on him. And then he ultimately gets heat for it. Why? It's because he's not a uh, he's not a, a, a guy who uh, is like Stone Cold or The Rock. You know, he, he, he works every single day in that company, so he deserves more shit to him so that he gets better. You're not going to make the guy better if you're going to keep shitting on him and not giving the opportunity. You have to do one or the other. You give him the opportunity, he's not doing you shit on him. Or you don't give him the opportunity, but you don't shit on him either. Do one thing only. Okay? That's how it works. Ambrose is in a pothole right now, and nobody's helping him. Nobody can get him out of there other than Dean Ambrose. And if the company decides to help him out. Ladies and gentlemen, Ambrose getting heat, apparently being called lazy as well. It's just, uh... I don't I, At this point... You know, Ambrose, as a, as a character for me, I don't give a shit so much. Uh, you know, I don't really care what he does anymore. Uh, whenever he comes out there to wrestle, I'll watch the match and stuff, but I don't really care anymore because his his character has been stretched out so far and so long, it feels like they need a change. Turn him heel, maybe something will happen, but at this point, he's being dropped down the card. He is not given anything of an opportunity. He's not, it doesn't feel like he's changed you know, he, I don't know if he, he hasn't really been able to adapt as much because a lot of the things he does, he still does the way he used to do two years ago. You know, when he, you know, the original reincarnation or the incarnation of the uh, lunatic fringe. You know, I think it's time for a change. Let's see what he does. I love his matches, though. He can, he can truly put on great matches with people and tell the good stories. But his character overall, you know, I think he should have stayed on SmackDown, to be honest. And I think, you know, he should have thrived with the Intercontinental Championship on SmackDown. But that's just my take. Um, I think Ambrose needs a little bit more leeway on his part. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning into this video. Ambrose, again, is in that same state that he's always been in. Vince McMahon's doghouse. Now, that isn't probably isn't the best term to use because he's still an IC champion. But eventually, I think that's where he's going to end up. It's sad. I will see you in the next video. Uh, until then, you know, uh, stay cool, man. Peace out.